Hello everyone, welcome back to How It Works. If you are an IT admin or a Microsoft 365 user, you must know about outbound spam policies and how they work and how they control automatic email forwarding to external addresses. Because if you are not careful, it can lead to data leak, security breaches, or even a spam attack. So today we will break down what outbound spam policies do, how they work with the automatic email forwarding and how you can control or how you can configure them properly. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for a more Microsoft Tech Update. Alright, let's start with the basics. Microsoft 365 includes an outbound spam filter policy to prevent unauthorized external email forwarding. Uh, this means if an uh, internal user or a hacker try to auto forward email to an external domain microsoft can block it uh, based on uh, policy settings uh, this is super important because automatic forwarding can be exploited for a phishing attack data leak unintended email exposure by default microsoft blocks external email forwarding to enhance the security but don't worry I will show you how to modify these settings based on your needs. Now let's break down the three main settings you can configure in your outbound spam filter policy. So for this I came here on the portal security.microsoft.com and under the policies and rules, uh, threat, threat policies and anti-spam policies. There you will see that anti-spam outbound policy. policy. Uh, default is always on so here you will see this this automatic forwarding on so I'm going to edit and I'll explain you this so there is there are three three settings automatic system control it's a default settings Microsoft manages these settings automatically right now it works as the same off forwarding is disabled so meaning external email forwarding is blocked by default so this is automatic, it's, it's, it works like a off, forwarding is disabled. So both policies are the same, automatic system control and off forwarding is disabled, both are the same. They do the same thing, it's basically block uh, external forwarding. On means it's, it's allow external email uh, to, uh, any, any auto forwarding emails to go out. Okay, these settings allow to email automatically forward to the external re recipient without restrictions. So be careful with these settings, it can lead to data leak and misused. So based on your requirement, make a decision. And then off is uh, basically off, it's, it's uh, recommended. And if a user try to auto forward email outside of the organization, they get a non-delivery report if you set this to off. Okay, the pro tip is uh, always put the off settings, so highly recommend for uh, security reasons. Now there is uh, another method uh, from where you can block the auto forwarding that is uh, from the exchange admin portal. When you come to the exchange admin, admin portal, you will see the remote domains under the mail flow category. There is a default and you will see this is the stark remote domain. So you click here and you will see this allow automatic forwarding edit and uncheck this this also will block the auto forwarding uh, to external domain so this is the one another settings and another uh, one more settings you can uh, uh, use that is from the rules transport rule from here also you can create a, another transport rule to block uh, such a auto forwarding emails so there are three three ways you can uh, do this let me explain now <clears throat> sorry so now you might be wondering uh, what if I already set up uh, email forwarding rules somewhere else and uh, will how that's that's it's going to work right uh, if the Microsoft 365 mailbox forwarding is enabled and uh, the outbound spam filter is set to off then external email forwarding it still be blocked okay so Microsoft 365 mailbox forwarding is enabled uh, but the outbound spam filter is set to off then also external email forwarding is blocked if you create an inbox rule to auto forward emails but the spam filter is uh, is blocked off then also it's not going to work third scenario where if if you are a remote domain settings like that i showed remote domain settings it uh, shows its allow forwarding but your spam filter policy said off 
uh, then it's also it's going to block so in simple term okay this is the main line is the the most restrictive settings is always win so if any one policy says no external email forwarding microsoft will block it so there will be no email forward forwarding will happen okay so this is the main okay so uh, in any scenario if one setting says no email forwarding uh, then doesn't matter which settings is allowed and which settings is not allowed so to wrap things up here are the some best practice for uh, managing external email forwarding in the microsoft 365 keep automatic forwarding off unless absolutely unnecessary second regularly review spam filter policy to ensure the compliance use microsoft defender for additional security layer monitor forwarding rules using microsoft 365 audit logs and always remember email security is a critical one misconfiguration can expose sensitive data to hackers stay safe and stay updated